Okay, now we're going to do some isolated feet work. That's where you, where you get your feet stationary. You're not going to move your feet, and you're going to stride without striding. It's a great way to work on throwing. Now I, I don't have to worry so much about my lower body. I can worry about things like getting the ball in the right position, getting the right arm angle, getting the right release, pulling the ball out, and, and all these things that you're working on with, with uh, throwing. But now I am striding correctly without striding. I'm going to bring my weight to the inside of my back foot, keeping my knee on the right side, keep the knee on the right side if I'm right-handed inside. When I land on my stride foot, I'm going to keep the knee inside that. So I'm always going to stay balanced on the inside of my feet. If, if, if I'm a basketball player and I want to stay balanced, I'm this way. As soon as I get this way, I'm a dead duck, right? You can go around me. When I'm throwing, when I'm hitting, I want to stay in that position. When I'm throwing, I want to stay in that position. All right, so now let's throw a few balls, and you're just going to try to hit each, your partner right in the neck with the ball, boom, right here, and extend. Good rotation. Stay inside. You can get your feet, you're taller, you get a little bit wider. That a baby. Good. And try to feel the ball releasing below your left eye if you're right-handed. Blow the bill of your cap and right at your left eye. Right at your left eye. That a baby. Good. Try to get your hand up a little bit and come over the top. Get a little more extension with your hand. A little bit more out in front. That was good. That's good over there, Mr. Merlot. That's much better. Did you have slider spin on that or fastball spin? Slider. Okay, now it's correct at this time. 